Everybody's getting up, getting moving. 5.15 a.m. Your helicopter's hovering overhead. The balloon fiesta is officially starting this morning. Super exciting stuff. It's, just, it's more favorite days since we've been RV living is like this kickoff of the balloon fiesta. First things first, uh, Jason over here has got a ham radio extension pole of some sort. We'll try to get this <laughs> GoPro on that pole so hopefully we can see some pretty cool shots of the balloons while we're on the field because we won't be at the RVs today uh, at least for the morning session. What's up? <laughs> this originally went 40 feet. I think you said he had to trim it down to 32. It's still nuts. <laughs> Got that set up. There's already a ton of traffic. I could see it up there. That's way different than last time we're here. We had our class A so we just sat on top of it. Probably not going to work to sit on top of our Airstream this year. Get the bikes. You good? Shoes out of the back of the band. Yes, which shoes? Um, boots. Boots, which boots? My boots that I wear all the time. The Danner boots? Yeah. Okay, all right. Shoes, shoes, shoes. Shoes here and here. So we had to move, we moved the shoes in here. It's usually, they're usually under our uh, couch. But when we have people over, we move them out here. So we have some extra room. See some balloons today? Uh, yeah. All right, we're getting ready. Is everyone waking up? Everybody's waking up. Because it's nighttime and morning time. <laughs> it's yeah. both, isn't it? Isn't that yeah. crazy? Mama's getting me ready. She's getting you ready, isn't she? You look so pretty. <laughs> Let's get our lots going. That thing's crazy. That's better. I think we're ready. You've got many modes of transportation to get down there. You could drive your car with a pass. You can uh, walk. You could take, there's a bus stop we can walk to from here if we want to that comes by like every 15 minutes from within this campground slash parking lot. You can get to uh, cross the crosswalk and take a golf cart and they'll pick you up. We're taking our favorite and the one we recommend if you can do it, which is bikes. We'll show the traffic here in a minute. You ready to ride the bike? Yes. Let's do it. Dropping the bikes off at the valet. It's not valet. Not valet, it's a valet. We made it, Hensley. Yay! <laughs> that, that where you look up top of the sea? Yep, yep we can go up top of that tower. There they go. Off. They'll take off here in a little bit. They do two sessions, one in the morning and one in the afternoon on the weekend. So this is the morning low, which is kind of where they keep them tethered and just kind of light the fire, let them glow in the dark. There they go again. And once the sun comes up, will be the mass ascent, which is where all the balloons start taking off. It's creepy. I figure out a good way to do this. It's in my chin, how's that? <laughs> so the big deal about Saturday is that there's like over 500 balloons on Saturday. But if you come during a week, I mean, that might be 200, 300, and it's all weather dependent too, but you, if you want to see the most balloons, you want to get here on a Saturday. Daddy, look! Whoa, there he goes! So this is Dawn Patrol. They send up one or two early to kind of just get a feel for the wind and see what it's doing. Um, I think it originated like in the late 70s or something like that. They've been doing it ever since. <laughs> so this guy, I don't know how you get to, you know, how do, how do they figure out who does uh, gets to go up early? I don't know, but I'm sure it's like an honor to get to do it. It would be to me. <laughs> Isn't this amazing, Hensley? They light up so yeah. they can stay up, right? Yeah, that's how they stay up. So I think this is my favorite part of the balloon cast. Not because it's the first thing we've seen, but <laughs> even remembering back, like, Mama, I don't it's like the most. You like, want a hot air balloon? <laughs> it's like the most magical part of it all to me when they're all coming up. Uh, and the sun's the coming up with it. You're a hot air balloon? <laughs> You're a hot air balloon? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even going to ask you which part's your favorite because. They're all her favorite. Yeah, I have a hard time They're picking. Yeah. <laughs> Going up in a balloon is my favorite. Well, <laughs> that would be true. Okay. There she goes, Hensley. Say bye. Wave. Bye, Mommy. Hensley, she'll be back. Bye. Bye. See you later, Mommy.
There she goes, right up there. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm going to have to learn. Isn't that cool? Wow. She's so into this. Isn't this fun? <laughs> she is taking it in, man. There's gonna be hot air balloons everywhere. See all that fire? That's for all the hot air balloons that are going up. There's gonna be lots of them. I think it's just like familiar to her, but new to her at the same time. It's kind of fun to watch her experience it all over again. I like her, I'm startled, but mommy's holding me and this is really cool face. Yeah. <laughs> so they can't launch 500 plus balloons at one time. So everybody has like a designated time that they're gonna launch. So I don't know, what is it? Like a fourth or a third or something like that's getting ready. They're gonna do it in the first batch that goes up. So you've got two or three mass ascensions <laughs> uh, that go up technically. Oh Can you goodness. find the spider? Where's he at? Where's the spider? Oh, oh my hello. goodness! Hello, hello. Oh, the spider one's pretty cool. Preventative pest control, I like it. Baby seal's been cool. Oh, look at the sun coming through. The sun's starting to hit the balloons up there. Spotted the fish up there. Spotted the fish? Where's the fish at? Pointer finger, pointer finger, pointer finger. Use your pointer finger, use this finger. Put that one down. And use that. That's a pointer finger. There we go. There. It's up there. <laughs> there we go. I see him. I see him. I just found my favorite new balloon here. It's coming up from behind me. It's the reveal. Here's the reveal. Yeah! Check that out! That is nuts. Look at that head, Marissa. Look at that, isn't that cool? Maybe that's the guy that owns the balloon. That's what I would do. Side profile. You ready to ride back to the Airstream? Yes. Yeah? What's over here? What do you see over here? Look to your left. What is that? So Airstreams, they have an Airstream rally, Airstream parking here. Hey. That's a... Is that a Tiffin? That might be Tiffin down here. Definitely got some different groups. Airstream's got some sweet spots. Though. Look where they're at. <laughs> they're like right next to it. You can come in multiple ways and there's multiple entrances. But we're going this way. There's a lot of people on the main path. So we're gonna try this back trail this time.
So that took forever to get back. Uh, <sighs> Good grief. <laughs> It was like, a, what, almost an hour to get back? 45 minutes. I think our two senses don't take the bike trail to stay on the main path and come back the main way and take the crosswalk and all that. We thought we'd try it. So now we know. <laughs> Man, I'm not gonna lie. Almost the first thing we did was take naps. We're so tired. There's some early mornings at this balloon fiesta. I mean, I've been up, well, I woke up early, er than I had to and couldn't go back to sleep at like 2.30 a.m. I think Marissa was up at maybe like four or something. So we were tired. We got a meet up today. Two to four. We're all getting ready for that. Okay. You ready? You ready to go to Cabela's, Hensley? Oh, she's so cute. Finished up the meetup. Oh, man. Look what they got us. We're not even making it out of the parking lot yet. <laughs> oh. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh my, yes. They know us so well. They do. You guys know the way to our heart. Mmm. You're really going to show me eating all these. Yeah, I am. You can just rest it on your belly over there. <laughs> yeah, rest a little. Right there. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody that came. You guys are awesome. Man, people know us. <laughs> it feels good to be known. It was just so encouraging. Like, just hearing how much you guys enjoy the videos and you're inspired like that encourages us and so thank you for coming and supporting us like that means so much to us The way I like to do videos, I like to do daily vlogs. I feel like it's a story, sometimes I have a plan. Well, the plan was for this video <laughs> was to be a full day of balloon stuff, but the wind and the weather kicked in and they canceled everything the second half of Saturday, which is the big day. So they not only canceled the other half of Saturday, uh, pretty much Sunday, nothing went up. So now it's Monday <laughs> and they're saying it's yellow flag. They might launch this morning. So hoping to see that it's because one of the cool things about the balloon fiesta is, is you know, the stuff on the field is really cool that we showed, you know, from Saturday morning. But uh, if you get to see them coming over your RV, over your home, pretty neat. So kind of waiting around to see what's going to happen. I saw the Dawn Patrol go up with just a few, few of them, but there's definitely no official launch yet. So there is an app and it just says, hey, there's a chance. Flag is yellow. So they have launched with a green light. Let's see. So here's a live news feed, feed of the field. So really miss our class A, because <laughs> we had somewhere to climb up. Doug said I could uh, borrow his. Yeah, it's a little better up here. Wow. Yeah, I wonder what, like, I don't know if these are the Rainbow Riders just doing ride. Oh man, the backdrop today is yeah. incredible. The sun, you can see the sun starting to rise. Yeah, it's my drone shot. <laughs> They're all over that pig, man. They've been on this pig the whole time. He does have sunglasses, he's pretty cool. He's like, look, yeah. They're coming, aren't they? Right next to our RV. Look at all those balloons. 20 feet tall, yeah, they're everywhere. They're over here, they're over there. Everywhere. They are everywhere. You never know. First we thought we wouldn't get any launch. Then we thought, well, they'll launch. There may not be many of them. And now they're launching and they're like all over the place. They're coming from this way, that way, from the field. Just something about being, <laughs> just being at your house and having these balloons just all around you. So cool. Balloons are high. And there's so many balloons that take so many highs up in the sky. <laughs> and they go is that all you got to say? Yes. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, the, the wind was in our favor this morning. They're 
coming over us. It's super cool when that happens. Yeah, they launched, uh, actually launched from two places. They launched down here. Oh, did they? Yeah. And down here. So they're all being carried that way, but because these launched down here. Oh. And there's some of them still blowing up like in the campground over there too. Because cool. this is all, um, I think all these are in the, um, there's like a competition, bean bang competition. And they're going to oh, drop them um, on the field down here. But yeah, this is, uh, I mean, look at that. It's just cool. <laughs> yeah. All around us. People standing on the rigs, people outside eating breakfast. I think like this is a really good definition of RVing, like why it's so cool. Cause mm -hmm. like the, the alternative of, of even if you stay in town, you drive in, it's cool if you're on the field, but you're in it, you're living it. And that's, that seems to be everywhere we go, Grand Canyon, Alaska. I mean, you're just, you feel like you're a part of what's going on and that's, that's really neat. Well, you're in the comfort of your home. Yeah. So I felt like I just woke up this morning, got out of bed. Well, you did. I did. <laughs> Made our coffee, yeah. you know, and come outside and surrounded by hot air balloons at the world's largest festival. So that's pretty awesome. Balloon fiesta. Yeah, the unpredictability of this event, like it's been really nice to be here because we're just like checking. We're like, should we go down? It takes us like 15 minutes to get on the field versus I, I talked to a guy Saturday. He said it took him two hours to go one mile to get on the field. It's it's a big advantage being here because you got the flexibility of not killing it, you know, and people too like they could do all that work, get down there, and then like yesterday, I mean, stuff was canceled pretty all much day. all day. You just so, don't ever know. So we just sat around here um, hanging out because <laughs> we didn't have to go down there. And that's a good lesson too: is make sure you give yourself flexibility yeah. when you're here because if you only give yourself a couple of days or mm -hmm. and make sure a weekend because they do things on the weekend that they don't do during the week yeah. but if it's canceled on your weekend then you know you might not get to see a whole lot so make sure you give yourself some flexibility full-time families is lined up for a balloon team to come by which is pretty cool we've seen it pretty close in the field but not like the whole process of taking out the trailer setting it up the whole thing so we're going to check that out this whole process is just fascinating so this is about the size of the basket <laughs> that asked mercy to marry man if you can imagine that I mean, I could barely find a place to kneel down. Yeah, that was about it. <laughs> so they have different size baskets. Uh, a lot of your ones that you're getting, you know, you're paying for a tour or something like that, they'll have bigger ones where they take up 10, 12 people. But most of your ones, you know, at the Fiesta that are private companies or individuals, I mean, they're gonna have the smaller baskets with this kind of setup. And Velcro's to the inside, which makes for prettier, you know, Kodak mode. It's not going to take off, right? No, I don't think they're going to take off. They're just setting it up and letting everybody touch it. touch it. The propane in your trailer is taking the vapor off the top. Does of that feel cool? I'm sucking the liquor. It's like a wicker basket. What do you think this is? What's this for? That's so his dog, when his dog rides with him, it can look out and it can see. His dog wants to have a view, too. I couldn't leave that Oh, yeah. You feel that heat? Isn't that hot? And they grab onto it and they hold it and then they pull it to a test weight. This one here was pulled and it failed at something under 30 pounds of pressure. So they pulled that 30 pounds of pressure apart and that's what caused these tears. When those tears happen, that means I can't use it to fly. At the uh, uh, Eclipse Festival with 50,000 other people out <laughs> in the, you know, the boondocks and I landed it right in between some of the RVs. And it, area that was actually narrower than this wow. and you know if it's calm if there's any kind of speed in it i'm going to need some space so he said each one of these burners is 16 million btus so 32 million btus total which if you're curious 480 houses would have to turn on their furnace at once to equal that amount of btus so insane amount of power coming out of this thing So what do you do when you're faced with unpredictability with things like this? Um, I think the two big things we've kind of emphasized a lot, I think, get here early and stay as long as you can. I mean, it's, you know, if you can't stay the whole time, it's okay. If you can only stay a couple days, that's okay. But if you can stay longer, um, you never know what's going to happen. The whole weekend could be canceled. Half the week could be canceled. I mean, it's all based on weather. So, I mean, you know how it is with nature. You just never know. Every day's different. I mean, the balloons 
the lighting's different, the balloons are different, mm. the backdrop's different. And you can see things in different ways. You see it on the field, you see it from a spot by the museum, you can see it from where you're parked in an RV. So it's it's all these things combined that make it awesome. And there's lots of other tips besides get here early and stay as long as you can. Uh, I'm gonna do a full video on that uh, for our patrons, lessjunkmorejourney.com slash fiesta if you wanna link to that and wanna become a patron to check that out. There's a thousand plus RVs here. I mean, they're everywhere. There's a lot going on, so it's just, it's a lot to figure out, but it's a great event. It's something definitely top of the list. Bucket I mean, list. It's but up, don't let it overwhelm yeah, you because yeah. it can be a little overwhelming at yeah. times, but definitely worth it. And, you know, do your research and you'll figure it out. Speaking of chaos and unpredictability, there's like <laughs> 150 plus kids running around here. We're going to try to corral them up. It's like corralling cats. And then we got a potluck after that. Groups rock. It's a lot of fun <laughs> being here with a group. Um, just can do sharing that. it with community. That's another tip too. Yeah. Yes, community's awesome. We're gonna go ahead and do all that, have a bite to eat, and we will catch you guys later. Slow down. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna play with it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>